Liam, how disappointing is it to concede so late when you're in very much control of that game and probably could have got, if not one point, three points? Yeah, massively, massively frustrating. I think, uh, yeah, the, the, the disappointing thing when you look at both of their goals, it's on us, it's not so much on them. I think, you know, we getting the little details right, getting the small things right, because uh, if you don't, they lead to the big things. So again, I thought the, the frustrating thing is it's all on us today. In terms of Wednesday, it was probably about taking chances. Was today really about not conceding it and taking control of the game and, man and kind of managing it out, really? Yeah, I, th I think you know that's, that's probably the, the frustrating thing. If you finish with a point, which would be you know which we deserved definitely, I think you know you, off the back of a week against three potential big sides in the division, you finish with four points. You know, and, and I, I think the biggest bit which we know will win us games is the performances and how we go about that. Which there's so many positive aspects of that today, but you know if you switch off, if you if you you know you don't focus in the key moments, you are, you know you are, you end up getting punished at this level, and that that's the. Uh, the challenge of the championship, right? It's a ruthless division where, yeah, you have to convert all the control, all the dominance into, you know, converting chances, but also creating more. Look at those positives. Lots of chances in the first half, in particular, um, Jason Knight's goal took it well, didn't he? Yeah, that's what I mean. A terrific goal. Everything we spoke around, everything we'd worked on the grass, all the all the work that we'd done in the build-up in terms of how we felt we could hurt them. I thought we showed that, uh, especially first half. I thought the discipline with their positional play. A little less in terms of second half, um, which is just difficult to repeat if you if you if you play your positions and you know how to, you know, to ask the right questions. You'll be, you know you would repeatedly be able to create really high level opportunities, which we, we, we've not done a huge amount of work on. I think you know we're, what we've had to focus on is the out of possession and how we get controlling games, which you know we, we did a terrific job. I thought today of forcing them back into block and you know creating the level of dominance we had. You know the next bit when you you've only got a little bit of time, we have to start there because. You can do all the attacking stuff, but if you don't have control, you know it's not it's not going to come. So you know there's areas like that that you know we need to we need to get better at. I suppose defenders' instinct, any players' instinct, is to put their foot out when a, to block a cross, and that happened with George today, didn't it? Yeah, there's there's numerous aspects. I think you know I'm not, sing, not going to single George out. I think there's numerous bits leading up to that which you know we have to do better in. Um, and it's it's a mindset. It's a it's a cultural thing we have to change here in terms of that you know that, that toughness of when we come out. You know this. Been informed is something that's not new. Uh, that, that you know, if, if you want to be winners, if you want to be successful, you have to you have to be brave. You have to have a, a healthy level of arrogance to step up. And you know, and we start the half on the front foot. We take the game to them. We're at home. Um, so that, yeah, like I said, I don't want too many too, too too often too many memories like this or experiences like this. I want us to you know, like I said, turn the, the control and the dominance into us coming out with something. And that consistency has been elusive, perhaps as you said, in over the last few years. To get that, what does that require? I think N numerous things. To be fair, I think it's a it's a cultural thing. We have to uh, we have to be tough on each other in training. Something we spoke around. We have to be ruthless in terms of not allowing people to, you know, if you want to hit the level that, that I know we're capable of, and ultimately where we want to get this club to, you, you, you know, you have to be ruthless with your actions, and you have, there has to be a toughness to it. Um, and you have to be honest with yourself and look at bits that you know you know you need to get better. And our jobs to then support and the coach and and stick together in tough moments. Um, and yeah, numerous bits. I think in terms of in-game strategies, tactical things, you know, the the, the group looking at that, those side of things. There's yeah, there's, there's there's a lot of things which again, this there's been a good week for that in terms of learning about the group. Obviously, we had the international break, and then you know, three three big games this week. You know, it's been a terrific opportunity for me to learn more about you know certain individuals, but also the collective. In terms of next week, probably less hectic in terms of the match schedule, but you know, some good time to get back on the training pitches ahead of Huddersfield. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, people, people sometimes forget we're in the early stages of what we're trying to build here. Um, and again, I think that's some, some of the big bits. You know, Like I said, we, what we've shown is we can control games in different ways. I think it's then a case of how do you control, how do you turn that control into you know, punishing the opposition, which I said that a little bit at half-time, you know, for, for all the dominance you know, for 30 minutes of the first half. You, you know, when it's 1-0, you, you always leave the opposition in the game. So it's about making sure that yeah, like I said, when you're in control, when you're on top, you have to make you know the most of it.